daily schedule. This is the last of the three basic verb tenses. Simply take the present tense and add a prefix. Yaktubu, sa yaktubu. Or you can also use a separate word with the same meaning. Sa yaktubu or saufa yaktubu. What happens when a root has two of the same letter together? This doesn't happen with the first two letters, but it can with the second two. La, noon, noon, lunna. In the past tense, these two noons will usually be separated by a short vowel. But in the present tense, they will always be doubled. Ana, vanantu, ana, alunno. With conjugations that include more noons, this can become confusing. Nahnu vananna, nahnu navunnu. There is a shadda in the past tense, but the noons from the root are separated. The shadda covers the last noon from the root and the noon of the suffix. In the present tense, the prefix is not next to the root noons. The rest of these conjugations are in your book on page 210. It would be a good idea to spend some time memorizing them. Vanna means to think something is true. For example, to think that someone is in the library. Avunnu annaha fil maktaba. Objects of anna are mansub or accusative. They are subjects of a sentence, so they would normally be marfua or nominative. Anna has no effect on the predicate of that sentence and it will still be marfua. Avunnu anna albeita jadidu. You might notice the book calls the noun the subject of anna, but it is actually an object. Another verb that uses a special particle is qala, to say. Qala innani suriya. It uses inna, which also makes its subject mansub, just like anna. Qala is the only verb that uses inna. Qalat inna kitabahu tawilu. Fa'ala means to do. It's the example root for different patterns and conjugations. Fa'ala, fa'il, kabara, Kabir. These two patterns are a verb conjugation and an adjective. What's the pattern for a comparative adjective? Afal. If you put a root into that pattern, it can become akbar. In Arabic, kabir means old when it's used for people. Hana kabira wa ahmed akbar minha. Notice that older and oldest are the same word. Adding L means that thing or person is the most. Dina El Akbar. Also notice that there is no gender marked on the adjective. Let's look at the line below. Dina Akbar El Auladi. What structure is this? It's an idafa. So Dina is the oldest of the children, in other words, the oldest child. Another way to say this is Dina Akbar Walad.